Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am so excited to be here today. I have gotten my uh, doilies in digital form and I put them up on my Etsy this morning. So, so excited because you all have been asking and I am thrilled to be able to finally have them all sort of immortalized. I'm real fond of my um, embroidered pieces and even though I was tempted to cut them up, <laughs> I really didn't want to. And so this is a perfect way to, to play with them and yet still have them intact. So as you know, I had a vintage store for a while. I've been a collector of all things vintage for, for many years. Anyway, I have quite a selection of embroidered doilies. So there's actually four kits. <laughs> and um, so I am just going to go through them real quick and show you. Let me just make sure. Yep, I'm in camera. Okay. So this is kit one. I love this one. I think it's going to be fun to just be able to use these little sprigs as well as, you know, a bigger part of the of the print. So anyway, there's that one. This one, you've seen me work with this one. That's in kit one. We've got this one, which I think is so fun. I think that's going to be, that's going to be really interesting, like on a page or on a number 10 envelope, lots of things to do. I think what I'm gonna do after I show you these is I am gonna have a play and I'll just do a craft with me. I've had a few people that have asked me to do cards, which I'm not really a card maker. And then there's this one. So there are five prints in each kit. There's the first one. Kit two then is, is this one. Isn't that cool? It sort of has an art deco feel. Anyway, I've had people ask me to do cards and I might have a go with that. I'm not really a card maker. I'm a little random for that, but maybe I'll just bring my randomness to, <laughs> to a card. There's this one with, um, so it's got three butterflies all together in it. So, and then um, these sweet little flowers, love those. So there's that one. Then there's this one that has the edging can be used as um, almost like a digital trim too. So I tried to get the edging in as much as I could in these. Um, then, then this is the last one in there in that, in that one. And it's got the edges so you can fussy cut around and make it kind of look lacy. So that's kit two. Here's kit three. Love these yellow ones. I think they're so fun. I love them all. I, I just am so thrilled with how all of these came out that I'm, I'm just pretty tickled. Then um, this, I wanted a corner, a corner of that other one. So we did that in kit three. Kit three has this one. I love that. The intricacy of the stitching on the on the real piece is quite something and it shows up nicely on the digital too. And then there's this one. And this one. And then kit four has these two, which I can kind of show you up close. I'm kind of looking in the camera here to, and then this has kind of the middle the, um, of the more or less art, art deco sort of looking one. That was a, that was actually a tablecloth. So there's that one. This one I loved because it's kind of got some, it almost looks coffee dyed. So I love that one. And I think that would make a really cute page just folded. You know, you don't even have to do anything to it. Just cut it out and it would make a cute page. So there's that. 
I was excited about this one too because I think we could do some fun things with just fussy cutting out the flowers and and such. So there's that one. And then there's this one. So those are the four kits that are available in my Etsy. It's Cinnamon Tea. And I'll, of course, I always link my shop below my videos. So it will be right there for you. I've already got some things out to play with my receipts kit and I've got some things cut out so I'm excited to have a play but I wanted to just let you know that they're there and thank you so much for asking and for your interest you really motivated me to get these done and I'm I'm thrilled with how they turned out so thanks so much everybody and we'll just see you in the next craft with me bye bye